Hello and greetings. I'm speaking to you today from my office here in the Anglican Centre. And over the course of the past week or so, a number of Anglican Centre staff have begun to return to the office again, as uh, perhaps you are also. Others may well follow if restrictions continue to ease, as we hope they do in the weeks to come. But it's a very big if, isn't it? And we've become used to uh, using that word if in many sentences, especially those concerned with plans we might make and with future events. We'll have that family gathering if, or we'll go there if, or perhaps we'll have that parish occasion, whatever it may be, again, if. For me, and I expect for many others, that uncertainty has become one of the most difficult things about the pandemic we've experienced over the course of the past 18 months or so. Because like many of us, I'm sure, I like certainty, but at the moment, we don't have it. As I've said, we've become very used to couching uh, every future plan, or many of them anyway, into uh, conditional sentences that may or may not proceed, depending on what restrictions may or may not be in, the place, in place at the time. But I expect if we were to uh, think about things a little more deeply, reflect on them more carefully, and think about those around us, we might find that there are some things that we can depend on, which do not and will not change, and which do bring certainty into our lives. Things on which, and people on which, we can rely. I'm thinking here of the constancy of the love and support of family members, one for another, the constancy of friendships, especially deep and meaningful and lifelong friendships on which we can often rely, the companionship of animals, perhaps if you have a pet. And for we who are people of Christian faith, there is of course something or rather someone on which we can of course rely. Someone who will not and does not change and who is always there for us to rely and depend upon. The psalmist writes, Psalm 90, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, forever you had formed the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. The letter to the Hebrews proclaims, Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. All through the years, People like us have lived in times of change and uncertainty and of difficulty and passed through many, many challenges. Christian people before us have known the assurance that comes through knowing and relying on the changelessness of God. I'll conclude these reflections with this very beautiful prayer from the Book of Common Prayer and the order for Compline or prayer at the end of the day. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.